Parents of young people worry about a lot of things, their kids getting into the driver's seat for the first time, whether they excel in school or how they're doing in their favorite extracurricular activity. But now there's something heavier than that, and the number of teenagers dying from drug overdoses is rising across the country, and it's something you as a parent need to know about. Here's News 19's Madison Neal with some shocking statistics about what you can do to keep your child safe. If this was anything else, if this was a plane crashing into a mountain, killing this many people on a daily basis, there would be an absolute uproar. In 2021, drug overdose deaths topped 100,000 in the United States. People think that that is a free will. That's something that people choose to do. But I can tell you, these people are not choosing to die. Now the opioid epidemic is taking another turn, with overdose deaths pointing back to counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl. It's the young people that are dying. Those numbers have doubled since 2020 to 2021, and that's just absolutely unacceptable. It's all unacceptable, but these are our kids. These are uh, eighth graders, 11th graders, 12th graders that are experimenting. These people are not addicted to drugs. They're experimenting with pills. Madison County Coroner Tyler Berryhill says the county is inundated with fentanyl. We see it day in and day out and it's reflecting in the toxicology. The Drug Enforcement Agency is sounding the alarm, saying criminal drug networks are mass producing fake pills and marketing them as legitimate prescription drugs. It's literally Russian roulette and you may have a you may have a bag of pills and the first five may make you feel great and you get real excited about how good they make you feel. But that last, that next pill is, has too much fentanyl in it and it will just it'll kill you and it kills you instantaneously. The DEA says fake prescription pills are easily accessible and even sold on social media or e-commerce platforms, making them available to anyone with a smartphone, including minors. These teenagers that go to pill parties or go to other things, they just have no idea what they're doing. If they're buying drugs off the dark web or they're buying it for some guy downtown that he got it off the dark web and it might say something on the pill, but it's not what it is. Lee Barton's son, Jay, died from an accidental overdose in 2016. Now he works to educate young people and their parents about the dangers of drugs. We hug and squeeze tight the, the small successes. just children that we've been able to help. Um, but one of the things to, they, to allow them to get help is to try to take some of the stigma away. It, it is truly a disease. Barton adds parents need to be diligent and know what their teens are involved in. So we ask for their passcode and we get in it and we look at messages and we look at emails and we look at pictures and it paints a pretty good picture usually right away. And then I tell the dad, you need to go home today, take the door off their bedroom, throw it in the garage, their privacy's over, and go search the room. And I try to give them some ideas of where to search and where to look. Selena Mason with Not One More Alabama says parents should not be naive. Kids experiment. You're a teenager, you have a teenage brain. You're expected to experiment and stretch. But if it comes to this, this can kill you. This can kill your friends. Mason says education can make all the difference. Tell them about the counterfeit drugs. Show them the photos. You know, can you tell what the difference is? If someone offers this to you, did they get it online? There are no online pharmacies that have been approved by the DEA. And in the end, know this. Experts say one pill can kill. Madison Neal, News 19. We've made it easy for you to find the educational resources about the counterfeit pills, and it's all on our website under this story. Just search One Pill Can Kill.